As the celebration continues for a historical moment in pro surfing history, Stephanie Gilmore just getting her eighth world title as she holds that record to herself. We have one more title to decide today. Toledo versus Ferreira, an all-Brazilian clash. Italo looking for a second world title and Felipe looking for his first. The Brazilian dynasty continues in pro surfing. Toledo won the first match, so he's in a great position. Italo can't afford to lose. The energy that Steph's feeling right now after a big accomplishment. We'll have more time to spend with her in a moment, but we're finally getting title match. He number two started, Felipe Toledo. Clean front side arc. Deep off the bottom, there's the vert. Using that open face well. Tracking through another roundhouse cutback. So clean, he's keeping the rail on all of these turns. Whoa, what a flare at the end, but he didn't, oh. didn't make it again. That'd be a great little uh, clip right there, just in slow-mo of them both doing something big and falling. It looks like uh, Felipe just cut his hand or something. What's going on here? Cut his hand or lost his watch. Caught that Over-rotated yeah. almost, yeah. He also, a lot of times he corked him out so hard. Look how clean the rail was right there. That was a bumpy section. And then here, gets his tail up above it. And then here, look at how bumpy that wave is. There's no clean arc. And he'd made it. He'd forced his way through it. So he's just kind of dominating what these little waves are. And had he made that, he put a score up. Italo's wave here, Mick. What'd you see? Uh, yeah, look, he just aimed for that ramp and went for it. And just... Coming in at seed number five, all the way to the title. Getting past uh, some of the best in the world today. The best all the way to her title. Back to action. Aggressive start from Felipe Toledo. Quick whip in the pocket. Pushes so hard through those forehand carves. I felt like he released him to the world when he won snapper back in 2015 in a similar size conditions on that finals day way back when where he officially entered his first world title race in just his third season against the best of the world. Yeah. And then you you won or got the final that year? I got second. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it, for me it was a huge stepping stone because I got that confidence that I could go and compete in those waves against the best, but... Uh, this is a really good wave. This is a nice and clean wave with a long wall. It things like, looks like it's gonna link up all the way. If it stands up here for him, he could be looking at a big number ahead. So the board, it, it tends to um, kind of slide out and not drive. And that's kind of the point I was making earlier. It looks like it's really fast and sharp and precise, but it doesn't have a lot of drive to it. So I was wondering how that would play out. It's good in those little pockets there, though. Look at the turns you can fit in a tight, tight little space. As we see him throw the tail into reverse, Italo Ferreira, well, just had a one before that. So an important time to really start swinging with 19.45 to go. Back to that in a moment, because Felipe stepping into motion, clean. Big four front side hook. He'll climb the next section nice and hollow under that board. There's that layback dagger. A lot of variety once again. Frames it perfectly for the finish as he'll stare down the entire beach, Mick. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good surfing right there. Yeah. That's so precise. The speed, when we watch this replay, watch the speed he gets through these turns on. It's incredible. Mick and Rob Machado and Kalani Rob is being fast. This guy is the fastest guy I've ever seen. Look at that. Boom. How much ground he covered there. Mark, Mick, talk us through this here. It's wild. He, he gets so much, like, reverberation out of his boards like his boards sometimes you do a turn like that and your board will stop his looks like it just explodes under yeah. his feet and po pops him back up on the water like every time he comes out of a turn his board's clean so he can just keep flowing into that next uh into that next turn i like that climb he did there too like even there he's like totally underwater but then he just pops up it's uh it's those things feel good. You haven't had a great event before, and then you're like, all right, I've got to try and find some confidence back yeah, in to for sure. go and put on a performance to win a world title. Just saw Italo go down. Okay, Kelly, what happened? I almost think for Felipe, too, an advantage for him was just switching the order of rights and lefts um, on that day when he did win. As we look at the throw into the flats for Italo, pulls that one out but gets clipped by the next section, so he'll stick to that just one maneuver. Yeah, 2.0. And, and, and uh, Italo put himself too deep and in a weird spot. And um, now we got... Now we'll get a split both peak. Of them going. So Italo going left. He's loading up. Tail high reverse. He gets that without a problem. Can he combo it up? Front side wrap. Still a bit of wave left on the lower's left. Nice searing carve. Italo wants another big punt. 
Stomps the reverse again on the finish. Great read, letting out a bit more emotion. His celebrations earlier was kind of quieting people down, but now he's trying to get the energy behind him. Felt like he didn't try to run away with variety and just stuck to that real cool looking car. This was the left, Kelly. Super crazy inverted, like corked out air. A funny little carve there, and let's see how he finishes it. There's a little pocket of energy. And then, uh, you know, he's, he, and he flips it around. Just sheer will made that. This was the split, Mick. What did you see here? Uh, I'll let you commentate it, mate. <laughs> oh, the carved down to start and then went right back to the lip. How'd you like that one, Mick? Yeah, mate. He's, look, he's been on point all day. He's uh, just going through. Like, even though this, there's foam on this space, he's just flying through it. That was a nice stomp to finish. We are adding to the Brazilian dynasty today. 2013, this man was a rookie on tour. He's gone through heartbreak. He's gone through some pretty down times. It's the year of Felipe Toledo in 2022. You're champion of the Rip Girl WSL Finals and your 2022 world champ. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Congratulations to Felipe. I'm so happy for him. He didn't make the Olympic team. Can you imagine? The best small wave surfer on the